Hello and welcome back. I'm Christine Carrado. With me right now is Luis Gomez, CEO at AAC Clyde Space. Luis, great to meet you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks for asking. Luis, if you could start us off with telling us a bit about the company. So uh, AAC Clyde Space is a Swedish-based company. Um, we make satellites and space components. So we, we are based in Sweden, as I say, but we have a large operation in Scotland where I'm based uh, actually. So we, we usually describe ourselves as a Swedish-Scottish company. Although since the announcements of last week, we are actually now expanding to other, to other countries. Yeah, let's so. talk more about that. You're now expanding into the US with this most recent acquisition that you announced late last week. This is to acquire a Virginia-based satellite tech company called SpaceQuest. So tell me more about that acquisition. So that, we had long had a desire to actually uh, be more present in the US market. We already actually produce, we produce quite a lot of components and subsystems and supply them to the US, about 30% of, uh, of our current uh, revenue. Uh, but we wanted to actually grow more into the US market. It is the world's biggest uh, space market uh, and we wanted to be more present. So, so this was the next logical step we had been looking at companies in the US for a while, uh, and we looked at someone that had quite a, quite a similar, similar uh, organization to us, a similar kind of product line, something, a company that actually could, could very easily slot into what we are doing and uh, has a very similar uh, strategy and a very similar, um, very similar uh, outlook on, on the space business. So we, we had been looking at uh, SpaceQuest for a while. We, had, uh, we knew them quite well. It made, it made sense to actually acquire them. They, they have a very strong business on the components and subsystems supply to the to the space global space companies, but also on space as a service. That is something that for us is quite important. is one of our big strategic drives. So so we saw we saw this as a, a very very much a win win uh, acquisition. And how will this contribute to growth moving forward? So this will allow us to actually develop our not only our presence in the U.S. and supplying uh, missions to U.S. organizations and to increase our our uh, presence in uh, in national missions and uh, missions for uh, for the government, but we'll also actually develop our space as a service business. So something that we have uh, invested quite a lot over the last few years. We are already doing work, for instance, with with Orcom in the U.S. and uh, and we actually want to expand on that. Uh, on that type of uh, offering to the market. And um, SpaceQuest actually has developed over the years a, a very strong business around space as a service. So not just supplying hardware, but supplying services to, uh, to other companies. Uh, and we see that as, a, as an important step for the space industry in general, for us in particular. And uh, with this acquisition, we actually can, can move faster in that, uh, in that sector of the business. For those who haven't heard the term before, what exactly does space as a service mean? It means that rather than, than a customer buying a spacecraft and operating that spacecraft themselves and having to, to have all the, the, the ground stations, the, the people to actually run spacecraft, we will do all of that for them. So, so we will build, we'll design, build, we'll launch the spacecraft into, into orbit. And then uh, what the customer will receive from us is just the product that they need, the data, the, the, the communication messages, whatever. So we will do everything then in terms of operating the spacecraft. We will actually bring the data down. Uh, we'll send commands to the spacecraft. We will bring the, the, the data down to the, the ground stations. We will then uh, process the data and deliver to the customer, to their servers, the information they need. Uh, and that's very powerful because it reduces the amount of uh, investment that they have to do on their own facilities. Well, how does this most recent re most recent acquisition fit in with the one that you acquired in the Netherlands? So Iberian, Iberian Technologies is a company that we actually uh, had also been looking at uh, for some time, in this case, largely because of their product line and their uh, technology. So we, we knew them well because we use their products actually on some of our satellites. Uh, and they had uh, a range of technologies and uh, a range of products that we didn't have. Uh, so that actually, again, is a win-win situation. They, they get bigger channels to, to actually sell their equipment. And at the same time, we get access to technology and products that we didn't have. Um, and in that sense, what we are doing there is increasing our ability to enter the market. So we are uh, uh, improving our ability to actually uh, do more complex missions and to provide more complex missions to our customers. 
So it's a slightly different uh, um, purpose, that acquisition, but overall what it is doing is strengthening our, our company and strengthening our business. Well, now that you are pushing more into the U.S., you also recently listed your shares on the OTCQX. So what value have you seen from doing that? It's about uh, presence in the U.S. Uh, it's about uh, increasing, our, increasing the awareness of investors in the U.S., accessing a, a different uh, group of investors. Uh, but largely, it's about our strategy to grow in the U.S. and uh, to be more present in the country. So, so that was why we decided to actually join the OTC market. Looking forward to following your progress here, Luis. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Thank you.